Welcome everybody to Sportsbook Review. We're talking NHL hockey today. That's right, it's October. It's Thursday, October 6th. But guess what? The puck drops next Wednesday for the first regulation game. This is how quick time goes. October 12th. It's here. October 12th, absolutely. We're going to be doing a show twice a week, guys. It's going to be called The Puckheads. Scott Carter and myself. Every Wednesday and every Saturday we're going to have a show. And those are the busiest days for hockey as far as the slate. There's a ton of profit to be made in hockey. I've been in this business a long time. I wager damn near all sports, but hockey is one of the least that I even tap into, let alone soccer I usually don't touch. Okay, Scott Carter has been doing this for many, many years, and he's profited immensely off of NHL hockey. The only thing that concerns me is he shows up today for our first video in a Vancouver Canuck jersey. With all due respect, last year, if I'm correct, because I am a hockey fan, was the first year not one Canadian team made it to the playoffs. Am I correct? or am I maybe losing it? I thought we were going to be nice in this video. Well, I mean, why? I'm just, I, I speak the truth. I just need to know. It's, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. They didn't make the playoffs last year. No Canadian team has made the playoffs. All right, okay, who okay, is your favorite nice. team, if you don't mind me asking? Because you're from Canada, right? Oh, of course, Vancouver. Is this course, your team? Okay. All right, with that being said, we're going to talk NHL futures today, and we're going to talk about what team might have an edge right out of the gate, a team that you might want to look to fade or to ride and jump on in the beginning because the early edge is available. With that being said, NHL futures, okay, I have a, an opinion on futures for baseball, basketball, and football. We talked about this before we, did. we got Off online. camera, we, we did. talked about we it, and Teddy covers some respectable people, P Pistol Pete in this business. A lot of times they don't engage in futures because the difference – and the value does not increase enough throughout the year. And your to money's make tied it. up for months. Exactly. Months. And not only that, you can't determine in the beginning of the year what team's going to get hit with the injuries the most. Because yeah. injuries, wouldn't you agree, would change everything. And, and I would think in hockey especially. Look at Montreal last year. Yes. Carey, Carey Price. They yes. went 10-0 to start the season. Lost their 11th game to yep. my Canucks. Okay. Well, After they that, and then they didn't make the playoffs. Bam. Price got injured. Came back about, what, two, three weeks later. He wasn't quite you know, came back too early, mm -hmm. then he's gone for the season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he missed the playoffs. You know, one thing about hockey, happen. Scotty, and I'm from Philadelphia. I grew up Philadelphia uh, Flyers fan back in the Broad Street Bully days, 72, 73. Reggie when they won Leach, a couple Bernie Perron, Oh my God. Fred Shiro. Keep going, keep going. My I'll goodness. tell you, Dave Schultz. Uh, Dave Schultz was number only eight. hired. Number, number eight. eight was only yeah. hired to fight. That was it. But with that being said, Bernie Perron, one of the best goalies ever. Hockey is yeah. the kind of sport where if you're not really into it, you don't know the ins and the outs. It's one of the toughest sports that's being played. And there's no doubt in my mind I played it okay but what I'm finding out along the way in this industry you can make some money in this industry and I personally think <clears throat> certain days for puck lines which have great value okay is one way what is another way our viewers can make money in this business early and let's talk about the futures is that something that you are an advocate of or are you one that's more cautious hey when you go back to take a sport like football they play once a week right okay so yeah riding a team that's hot or cold is important in any sport right mm -hmm. Where football, it's it's once a week. Yeah, it's hard to have a kind of a feel on that. Sure. Where hockey and baseball, for example, they play every day. There's or, like three you know, or four days a week. Basketball, at least, right? they play three or four days a week, right? Yeah. So you can get a team that's on a roll. Like yes. last year, Pittsburgh won the cup, right? We all know they won the cup. They had one of the best players in the world playing on their team, but they were sucking the whole time. They changed their coach. And that's where you can get an edge. You can get so a, when, a man, motivation. So what you're telling like me, because I, I am a handicapper on momentum and emotion. Momentum, that's what so we're talking about. So when momentum, momentum rolls in hockey, yeah. that's the time to cash. That's the time to cash and stay away Whether from the Whether it's home or away, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Because I've always wondered this, too. In a hockey rink, because I've been to many games as a child and growing up at the Flyers. It's the best sport to see live. It's the it? best I mean, sport to see is. live. But I wonder how much an edge a home team really has with the noise compared to other sports. Because I think with the hockey with guys. the glass there. Yeah, the glass. Yeah. These guys are focused. I don't even think they see anything anybody in the stands outside of what's on the glass and the ice. Okay, with that being said, you're talking about a sport where the athletes are not so focused on the money. Well, they're getting there, but not like Well, there's no signals the to day. hear from the quarterback and stuff like that. So definitely the, the atmosphere in the rink and the home team doesn't play a real big part in the outcome of the game. Mm -hmm. It's talent takes over because there's obviously lots of planning and lots of coaching involved. On the you know when they go to the benches and stuff like that, there's lots of matchups. Mm -hmm. The nice the advantage of having a team playing at home is you get the you get the line change. You yeah. get the second line change. Basically, okay. the coach 
has the opportunity to, to see the other teams align on the ice first before he puts out See, I don't, his that's team. a rule that I never knew existed. No other sport exists does that. The home team gets the first line no, change. No, the home the, team gets to put their, their players on after the road team. So they get their to see what they're playing. So they could do the matchups. Huge advantage. Huge. Wow. That's, see, that's, really that's an angle right there. That's an angle right there our, to our viewers that I wouldn't have known about that. That is huge, especially, you know, when you're talking playoffs, I imagine that's even intensifies even more. Absolutely. So if you've got a guy that's a really good checker and he wants to put him on the same time as your, their star player, yeah. you have that opportunity once the whistle wow. blows. Wow. Right? So that's wow. huge. Absolutely. Great information. Thank you for that. Now, look, with that being said, all right, this year, this, God, it just seems like yesterday the Stanley Cups were, you know, in game five, game six. All right, is there going to be a team that you think, all right, with what your knowledge and your research, that's going to have an edge or a jump early? And if so, does it have anything to do with some participants that played in the World Cup of Hockey and have already gotten a start and got that rust off of their skates? Well, we talked about it earlier, uh, Price, Carey Price for the Montreal Canadiens. He came back. Mm -hmm. He was a starting goalie for the World Cup. They won the world medal. We talked about yeah. this a month ago. A month we did ago. a video about this. He said, who's going to win the World Cup? I said, well, Canada, right? Minus 110. And here's the same well, guy that had the injury last won. year, right? Yeah, so he's, he's already guy. fresh, plus he has rest behind him. Yeah. That might be a team to look out for so look right out, out of the them, gate. Start the, and they're plus like 2,200 for the, for the Stanley okay. Cup. Now, you're not just saying that because you're a Canadian, right? You're no, not no, no, with no. your heart? Okay. I mean, I'm not a real big Montreal fan. I'm just but kidding, I, just yeah, kidding yeah. you. We're going to have a lot of that along the way, guys. We might even drop the gloves and drop the sticks right here in the studio one day. We uh, might. I better read my Wheaties, though. Jesus. So there's, there's, the, there's your average. There's your other teams. Of course, the Blackhawks are going to rebound. they got the talent. I like Dallas that. as well. Pittsburgh, again, they're the favorite right now. Bookie's got them as favorite. Mm -hmm. Tampa Bay with Stamkos coming back. Yes, Remember, that, they were, and that was huge also when he went down. Everybody he was, went down in the playoffs, didn't he? Yeah, before, just before the playoffs. He had wow. a blood clot, and yeah. they couldn't you know, play him. And, yeah. uh, See, and there's the thing. If you would have took them for the futures, you were looking good. And then when that happened, boom, it's done, and you have so, no choice. Be careful with betting futures because the value through the length of time does not overweigh uh, the risk of injuries, and that's what I've learned with futures. Yeah, if you're going to put in a long shot, put in a long shot in on a team to win the division. Like yeah. Vancouver Canucks, yeah. for example, they're plus 10,000 to win the Pacific Division. Right. It's a long shot. They've got a lot of young players. And, uh, you know, I don't want to sound like a homer, yeah. but a lot of young players and good coach. Yeah. Good goaltending. You and know, that's the kind for of 20 bet. bucks down. Exactly. On that that's the kind of bet that's not going to affect your bankroll. It's not going to tie up any, you know, significant number of your bankroll through the season. And guess what? If you got lucky and it, and it cashed, you'd be saying, you damn, know. I'm glad I did that. Especially so, with a young team like Edmonton Oilers as well. They got the Connor McDavid his second yeah. year now. He had a big injury last year, but he's he's an awesome player. They signed some Lucic they signed from Boston who went to LA. They got him. Ooh, that's, you know, and, and yeah. that's having him beside him, it's that's a huge, you know, and they got a brand new stadium, the best hockey arena in all of North America that just opened up the Rogers Center. Now that is huge. gonna be huge. And I found out when Minnesota in a different sport, with all due respect, they just played in their their brand new stadium. That was the twelfth man on the field in football for them, and it made a huge difference. Different, so I'm, I'm sure that's an angle to look at as well. With that being said, is there one team you think that you think might carry it through, might have the momentum, and just a long shot pick, a dark horse that you think might win it this year? Oh, or not even a dark horse, just one that you think this, this team can win if they stay healthy? Well, or is it, it's kind of hard to bet against. It's it's kind of hard to bet against Chicago to, I mean, yeah. or Washington. They, they just know too much about winning the big one, and they know if, if you look up the word "bounce back" in the dictionary, you're going to see a picture of the Chicago Blackhawks. That team can come out. Taves, yeah. I mean, you healthy got, and young. Healthy and young, yeah. and they're okay. hungry. They usually go one year good, one year bad. Mm -hmm. Watch out for the Kings as well. Mm -hmm. they, they got out of it last year again. They could come back again, yep. and there's going to be some dark horses. Fantastic. Washington, wow. Tampa Bay. Yeah, well, you know, teams. Washington's going to be there as long as they have Ovechkin. They're going to be there. And and they just can't seem to break that pattern of just taking a shit in the playoffs, you know. St. Louis though, is one of those teams, too, yes. taking a shit yeah. in the playoffs. Yeah. Again, always Absolutely. High, expe high expectations. Wow. They gave the coach a one-year extension, which is not a lot of confidence. Not but, at all. And that you know, goes in the head, and that, and that then feeds into the locker room, and that's where you have trouble. That's where I like the emotion. Wow, this the is good stuff. The puck drops soon. The puck drops it next drops Wednesday soon. for real. It's going to be exciting. I can't wait. And viewers, along the way, every Wednesday and every Saturday, we're going to be capping these games, okay? Tune in, because as the season goes, we're going to find the edge, the angle. All right, we're going to teach you a new way to make money. And we'll, we'll tell you why we're picking these plays, why we think, yeah. I mean, we're not going to get them all right. Yeah. We're going to get We're going to break them right. down like me and Pistol Pete. That's yeah. what we're going to do. Pistol yeah. Pete and I. Except Pistol Pete. All right, don't start that okay. shit either, okay? We're, we're yeah. going to break them you down and give you the reasons yeah. why and we're picking them. I didn't appreciate them. that across the street at the lunch, Don't by the point way. at me. I told you, I know, do not still, point. It's rude. Don't correct me in front of a waitress right. okay. here in Costa Rica. Right. Excuse okay. me. I'm not kidding. All right, guys, that's our show for today. All right, and remember, next week, the puck drops on Wednesday. Tune in, because Wednesday morning,
morning. We're going to have a video and we're going to have our picks. We're going to have a, a chart to, because we're accountable. We're going to have our records that are absolutely going to be shown every video. So jump aboard, cash that ticket. And before you do any of this, you need to sign up your new books through SBR Hockey. Now, there's got to be some line um, shopping advantages with hockey. Am I right? Like any sport, absolutely. Some, some will have the better lines. And what is a better line? Depends which team you're taking, right? And it could be better. Again, this isn't you... a joke. Somebody told me you usually have three accounts for hockey. Is that true? I have three, four accounts. Yeah, three there accounts you go. that are active. Wow. You can beat the bookie before you even place your first bet. So sign up your new accounts for NHL hockey through SBR, okay? Because guess what, guys? It's a win win. You're going to be playing with books that not only are respectable and treat you 100% like you should be treated, but they pay out on time. And that's what we're here if you for. Go to S if you go to SBR, click on Hockey Forum, click on there, and they'll give you all the the players that actually play on those books will tell you which ones they like and why. Wow. And you can put those uh, comments in there as well. Sign up, yeah. free account. It takes two seconds. There's contests all year that SBR does free. You can win real money. And you know That's what? Awesome. I, I'm just going to be getting into hockey. And when you said that, you know what I grabbed right away? That's an advantage for me to go to the forum to find out who guys Absolutely. have been betting hockey or saying this is the best book with the best value and the best bonuses. Let's get it done. Scotty Carter, thank you. I'm looking forward to whooping your ass in hockey because guess what? We're going to be going head to head. I can feel it, okay? okay? With all due respect, though, we're on the same team. We're going to beat that bookie. Let's get it done. Call me Mr. Puckhead. I will. Okay, Puckheads. see you later. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SPR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.